Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to my Skyrim mod series. And in this video, we'll be looking at Red Spire Manor, which is available for PC and Xbox One, but sadly not for PS4 as far as I can tell. So anyway, the mod was created by LD50365, the same person that brought you Skyfall Estate, the Skyrim, which I may well be doing a review on at some stage, Castle of Voldemire, Frostfall Estate and many more extremely high quality mods so expectations should be high with this one. And the house itself is a multiple adoption law friendly player home located in the centre of Ravenrock in Solstein. And to get the house you have two options, the first is to go to the sales sign directly outside the front door, activate it and then simply pay 5000 septims for the deeds and key. The second option is to pop round the back of the smelter where you'll find a strong box, open that and you'll get the deeds and key for free. Now I know which option I'm going for and I'm pretty sure I know exactly what you lot will do. Anyway, whichever way you get the key, Bob's your uncle, the home is yours. Okay, so this is a bigger home than I normally do, so just like Wolf Skull Manor video, I'm going to forego the pretty scenic shots and dive right in. Now there's a reason why I've chosen to review a player home in Soul Sim, and this home in particular, which will become apparent later on. But for starters, here's some of the home's features. And the house is compatible with Hearthfire multiple adoptions, which is pretty cool if you want to move your family out to Solstheim. It's got a change of character's appearance mirror in the bathroom, auto store for cooking, alchemy, enchanting and smithing ingredients, six beds for children, six beds for followers, 36 armor mannequins, 13 large display cases, 10 dagger display cases, 113 weapon racks, 18 weapon plaques, 30 shield weapon plaques and 11 bookshelves which holds around about 484 books. Uh, kitchen area with oven and cooking pots, enchanting table, imbuing chamber for making a spider scroll stuff, enchant alchemy table, uh, hearth fire planters, uh, 22 uh, ingredients in those, themed storage for loads of collectibles, an in-house uh, merchant, and as you just saw, the exterior drop-off barrel, which is linked to the three interior barrels. Uh, in uh, smithing and the armory and the alchemy etc and now a warning on this the mod author has said uh, or warned against storing a ton of stuff in the auto store uh, containers because the workstations could pause or exit while loading um, so bear that in mind okay so after that short little list um, as you probably can guess here we are in the followers room six beds and you can toggle uh, things like um, the fire on and off they have their own cooking pot blah 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 it is a very, very spacious house. Quite sprawling, actually. And here we come across to the crafting area. Now, the reason why I'm recommending the house, that despite it being in Solstheim, or actually to be more accurate because it is in Solstheim, is that this is the perfect crafting home. You have access to all the crafting types in one room and also you have access to the Black Book, the Salar Regent, where you can get a 10% temp, uh, 10 boost on all your crafting skills. And if you want to know more about that, I did a video on how to create in-game armour. It's a bit dry, but it tells you everything you need to know to max out your crafting, um, barring rare curios, as that wasn't actually a thing back then. Anyway, I'll leave a link to that in the description for those of, the, of you that are particularly interested. So yeah, as you just saw, that was a Staff Enchanter. We've got the Smelter here. You got all the uh, smithing here, and there's your drop-off barrel, which is linked to the one in the entrance. And of course, you've got all your smithing storage there. Really nicely done, actually. I like this. And your workbench, and your smithing supplies also drop off. Yeah, nicely done. And we want to just round that corner here. It's a nice little touch. You got your gear supplies or storage. Yeah. 
Yeah, very good. Nicely done. Actually, I've got to say, the attention to detail in this home is superb. Absolutely superb. Now we wander over here, we have the spider imbuing chamber. Or just the imbuing chamber for making spider scrolls. I might actually upload another little video on those. Um, I did one before and it hasn't had, any, had very many views. But it's definitely worth looking at and making part of your gameplay. In my opinion. And your enchanter, of course you've got your storage and use the enchanter. There you go, and into the alchemy room. Now this is a lovely little feature, I love this. Okay, so you can make your potions and then you can literally store them on the shelves. There you go. That's brilliant, I love that. I I don't think many, I've seen many homes with that on, but that's that's fantastic. And obviously your um, alchemy storage there. And your alchemy lab. Dead cool. And we got uh, planters. More potion racks there. I love those potion racks, I think that's a cracking idea. Yeah, more planters. And so, moving on. So now you understand what I mean about the crafting. Um, absolutely fantastic, top notch, everything in one room and access to the black book as well. Yeah, absolutely perfect. So I wandered down the hall a bit and we come to the Sprog's room. I'm not sure how happy your family will be in uh, Solstheim, but uh, hey, you can bring them here if you want. And there's six beds, as I mentioned before. And you toggle your fireplace on and off. I do like this. Okay, going across here, this place it really is big. Like I said, normally I go for half buys, about as big as I go on the homes, but uh, you know, that's some more bookshelves. Uh, this one is so well laid out and thought through, um, it, it does work. So now, normally, your NPC trader's in here, at least I think she's a trader, um, she does have goods for sale. So I don't think she's a cook or anything. She's a, I believe she's a trader, and this is her room. For some reason, she's disappeared on me uh, when I'm actually recording. I clearly scared her off, and she's wisely run away. Everything you need for cooking here. Yeah, your food storage and obviously a cooking pot. Very nicely done. And now we've got the uh, 
little walk to a surprise hand. Funny enough about this is, um, I've seen a lot of other videos, been watching a lot of other videos on Respire Manor, and so many people have missed this out. I've just gone straight past this trapdoor. Anyway, it's your armory, and it is massive. It's your drop-off barrel. And I think you can pretty well cover everything you'll ever pick up in here. Within reason, obviously. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> I do like it. It's, it's well done and it's out of the way. And it's the only loading screen in the uh, in the home. So, uh, yeah, great. Yeah, I like this. Okay, back into the home again. And round here into your chambers. Where you got all the stuff you can collect. So it's a kind of bedroom come display room. This is for your uh, dragon claws, paragons. And all your busts and masks. I think this would look fantastic actually once it's all kitted out. other bits and bobs you can uh, display. Place for your Elder Scrolls. And some shrines. you want for the one you want for your crafting um, if you like I'll pop up another little walkthrough on that one if you're interested it's one of the easier black books to get and very very handy so some more shrines there and here we come round into the bathroom got your hot tub Change your appearance mirror and the uh, taps work. Now, as I understood, there's an auto strip in um, this, but it didn't work for me. So maybe I've got another mod that's interfering with it, I'm not really sure. But, uh, but it doesn't give you any blessings or cure disease or anything, which is a shame. Or at least it didn't for me. And round the corner, we got your shower. I think they have problems with water pressure in Raven Rock. But again, there's no auto strip for me. But it may auto strip. Yeah, I, I don't know. And some more display cases. 
And you've got the rest of our mana teleport spell. Now I haven't tested the bed because uh, I'm at that stage where I'd disappear off into Mirax. Little work party somewhere, so I can't bother dealing with that. So check out if you've got a wrestle well rested. But judging by the way this mod is, I'm sure it's a well rested bonus. And last but not least, if you come around here, you've got a whole heap of bookshelves. Now it's real shame that I think you should have put a couple of chairs in here. Well, aesthetics period, so you're kind of sitting beside the fires reading your books. Anyway, you've got all the uh, stones. But yeah, just one tiny little oversight there. Okay, so what do I think of this property? Well, as anyone who knows me understands, I prefer smaller homes. Maybe I'd go as big as Hearthfire for the whole family thing, but this is one of the few exceptions. I think it's really well crafted and laid out. The attention to detail is excellent. It gives you everything you need without going over the top. And despite being a big home, it really works for day-to-day -day gameplay, which is the most important thing. And the crafting room is excellent. This mod author gets it. You've got to have all your crafting stations near each other for those days when you go on a massive crafting run or even just making a new set of gear. The whole house is just a nice place to be in and I really wish there's a version in Skyrim itself, maybe with link storage between the two. Now that would be awesome. Now there are a couple of downsides and I reckon the long hallway should be lined with planters for alchemy ingredients. Indeed, I'd like to see more planters around the whole property just to enhance uh, the alchemy crafting uh, and increase the crafting functionality of the home. The second is the teleport spell. Now it will teleport you directly in from Skyrim to your home. But when I did this, my follower came with me, but my Reekling didn't. I had to exit and enter the home several times before he appeared. And then he would follow me into the house, but my follower wouldn't. So if you have a pet or a follower, I suggest you make a hard save and test it for yourself. Apart from that, what can I say? It's a great home. No, it's a really great home. Up there with rights and in quality, in my opinion. And for those of you wanting a home on Solstheim, this will do everything you need and more. So it's a massive th thumbs up for me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you later. Love you.